Here we are at Daimler Trucks North America. We're inside the wind tunnel, uh, having a look at their new truck called the Revolution. Uh, it's a prototype vehicle and it's got a lot of interesting things such as uh, cameras instead of mirrors, uh, a single door for the driver entry and a rear door to get out and up and put the trailers up. Uh, there's no uh, passenger door on this truck. Um, the things that we wanted to demonstrate or just to showcase with the innovation truck was just where is Daimler going, where do we see the industry going, what are we doing that's innovative, new technology, showcase those ideas. So in this, with the vehicle designed around the hub and spoke operation, just focused in on that smaller engine package of the DD13, reduced the radiator size down to 1300 square inches and what that did was allow us just to bring that package smaller, we lowered it within the chassis but the engine's in the same location, so it's a driving, running vehicle. You know, with the exception of cost, you could, you know, build this in a Cleveland plant um, from that standpoint. So we didn't cheat on that side of it. Um, the new Mercedes transmission says it's 300 pounds. The aluminum frame rails are different than our current extruded ones, so those also save us 200 pounds over the our current aluminum, 300 pounds over steel. Um, the long haul tandem. The back operates as a six by two in most circumstances. When it senses slip, it'll operate as a six by four. So it helps to alleviate those driver concerns where you can gain the fuel efficiency with the six by two, but you're, oh, I'm gonna run out of traction without that six by four. So it helps to alleviate those. This was designed to uh, meet the same requirements as steel as far as um, That was actually the driving criteria because that drives a lot of our This one still uses steel cross members, but we are also looking at um, sort of on our, our next project from this, it's the super truck program that, that Daimler has ongoing. Uh, we're looking at aluminum cross members as well. So we're kind of continuing that, that technology development, and that's kind of also why we do these types of vehicles, is to really push ourselves to develop technology and, and kind of show that leadership. We did use quite a bit of carbon fiber, um, and in the case of like the roof structure, we've got a honeycomb in there so that we don't have to have the additional roof bows that you'd have in traditional construction. So, you know, I think we're still going to be battling cost. It, it'll come down to whether or not the customer is willing to pay for the... the... Um, they're expecting at least a 2% fuel savings with the bomb on tandem. And that's one of the reasons we showed up this vehicle, is to kind of get that feedback to find out if people are really interested in before we, we spend the millions of dollars in tools and things like that. There are certain things that we built into it that were heavier, but in production we expect it to be maybe a little bit heavier than a day cab today uh, because it is longer and, and we have more interior features in it. But, so it would be somewhere in between a day cab and a sleeper cab. Obviously aerodynamics, um, but also uh, some of the other things that we did was separating the cooling cooling package. So the AC uh, condenser is, is, is back here and we electrified it. So one of the things that we found in the data from our customers is that a lot of times the cooling fan turns on on the vehicle not to cool the truck, it's to cool the cab. So by separating those two duty cycles, you're able to, to more efficiently manage the energy in your vehicle and overall fuel. So that kind of drove the air side air intakes and electrification there. Um, and then focusing on the regional market, the single driver environment really allowed us to take advantage and do some new things on the interior. And, and uh, maybe we could open up the truck and give you guys a peek inside. This comes off as one piece by looking at it. Once you take this off, you can get in all over the engine. It's, um, she's tight. I like the way this is set up, though. Mm -hmm. So 
idea. It's such an innovative thing. Like the fact that you still look left and right in your mirrors, mm. you know, but you're looking inside the truck to see the outside, and it gives you a far better perspective. Yeah. But you would still see it at night time. Mm. Yeah, that's right. You're going to see a lot better. What do you reckon, Tim? I think it's uh, the cup holders are a little bit better than the ones in the Coronado. What do you reckon, Chris? I reckon this is very space age, but look at these. What do you reckon, Gary? They're very impressive. The, um, the nice, I would probably have to jack the seat up a little bit. <laughs> no, it's, it's a great, great, great looking truck, easy to read dash. It'd be, it'd be a real nice thing to be driving in.